For the average golfer like myself, it may take a couple of times for me to get a hole in one, but for a guy like Greg Newport, he has made 18 consecutive hole in ones. He's only the fourth guy in history to accomplish that feat on one round. This season hasn't even started yet for this U of L baseball team, but I can tell you after today's media day with some of the players and head coach Dan McDonald, the hype surrounding this team is real. They're ranked second preseason, just behind number one Florida, and almost every guy said today they're not only hoping to get back to the College World Series, they think they can win a national title. I think this is what college basketball is all about. <laughs> it's these blue bloods that play each other, and Indiana, Kentucky is basically one of the best matchups you can get as just a college basketball fan. You don't have to be a fan of either one, but it's just that much fun to watch. 2015 was an amazing year for Bob Baffert, trainer of Triple Crown winner American Farrell. Fast forward now to 2016, entering the Derby. Baffert does not have the favorite, but he does have a nice contender in more spirits. He hopes to duplicate what he did last year, this year, and he's called upon an old buddy. Yeah, Lamar Jackson spoke to the media for the very first time since arriving back here in Louisville after winning the Heisman Trophy this past weekend. As you can imagine, his voice voice was a little rough after a whirlwind weekend. The rivalry between Crosstown foes St. X and Trinity will be renewed tonight at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium. The 81st all-time meeting between these two teams appears to be another classic on paper. Trinity is number one in the state the end of the game at 6-0, while the Tigers are 4-1 and 10th in the state. So expect a battle between these two teams as emotions will definitely be running high. Unfortunately, Mother Nature rained us out this morning as far as getting into these vintage cars and taking some laps around around the track, but we were able to get into a pace car, take some laps around the oval and on the street course. They were driven by a couple of former Indy racers. Louisville baseball saw the return of infielder Nick Solak to the lineup this week, and he hasn't missed a beat since returning to the three hole in three games. He's batting nearly 500. Another game, another good learning experience for this young Cardinals team. They led Texas Southern by 14 at halftime. They actually only trailed by nine with about 15 minutes left in the game. But that's when the Cardinals got back to what they do best. They finished the game on a 45-23 run. I wasn't quite that far up top tonight. Chris sure. Academy has beaten to sales during the regular <laughs> season for the past four years. However, the Colts have gotten the last laugh each time by knocking Cal out of the playoffs. Will it be five years in a row? We'll find out tonight. We head out to Christian Academy. Coach Patino also said in his 42 years of coaching basketball, this current team cares the most about any outcome of any game, saying after they lost to Baylor, his team was devastated. In Louisville, Lita Jarlis, WLKY Sports. Lou City has been playing some great soccer over the last basically two and a half months. They haven't lost a league game since April 2nd. They'll put their 13-game unbeaten streak on the line this weekend when they host FC Cincinnati, a team they've already beaten this year 3-2 in Cincinnati. Saturday's game should be another classic with a team that's quickly become their biggest rival. John Harden was hoping to go just one game further than they did back in 2014. That year they made it to the state semifinals and lost to Graves County. Friday night they took on Franklin Simpson for the right to head to Bowling Green. You can make a pretty good argument this was Mark Stoops biggest win of his career at Kentucky. On the flip side for Louisville, they've now lost two straight to end the regular season, most likely knocked out of the Orange Bowl. It's expected to be sold out standing room only Friday night at Jeff. In fact, New Albany 700 tickets they are allotted for the game sold out last week in less than an hour. In New Albany, Lita Jalas, WLKY Sports. Nyquist remains the favorite entering this year's derby, but expect more spirit to get a lot more attention after his workout this morning. Let's also not forget Baffert is pretty good in these derbies. He's going for his fifth win. At Churchill Downs, Lita Jalas, WLKY Sports. The new facility isn't completely done. They're still putting the final touches on some of the things inside the building, but they expect to be moved in in two weeks. In Lexington, Lita Jalas, WLKY Sports. The Ramses have had seven horses in the Derby over their years, but all of them have come up short. They're hoping Oscar nominated is the one that can get the job done. He'll be breaking from gate seven and is going off at 50 to one. At Churchill Downs, Lita Jalas, WLKY Sports. You wouldn't know by just looking at him, but Greg Newport is a world record holder, a national champion, and a bronze medal winner. Perfect. He's a weekend warrior with an insatiable desire for competition, but his Saturday night vice isn't what you may think. It's a date with his putter and 18 holes. Started playing local tournaments. That was in 1983. It just grew from there. But unlike PGA pros, this 46-year-old will never win a tour event. He's in it for the love of the game 
and that's all right with him because Newport is a professional putt-putt champion. It's such a wonderful game, and, and anybody of any age can play. For the average golfer like myself, it may take a couple of times for me to get a hole-in-one, but for a guy like Greg Newport, he has made 18 consecutive hole-in-ones. He's only the fourth guy in history to accomplish that feat on one round. Just elation <laughs> of uh, the perfect 18. It's just something that everybody dreams about, but you never really think about when you go play. That is one of the rarest things that can happen in sports. Somebody once told me that there have been more people who've walked on the moon than have actually shot a perfect 18. This weekend, the guys are in town for a professional putters association event with a purse of $15,000. That doesn't allow them to live off their winnings. All of them have regular day jobs and travel around the country just to play. Literally didn't even know this existed until I was in my 20s. I just stumbled into it. I had no aspirations of being a golfer whatsoever. This weekend's event draws the best 65 pro putters with the winner walking away with $1,600. But for Newport, it goes well beyond the prize money. Three weeks ago, he was given the chance to represent his country at an international competition. Representing the United States in, in uh, the World Adventure Golf Masters in Kosovo, that was an incredible experience. And I received the bronze medal. Now nicknamed Mr. Perfect by his friends, Newport gives a new meaning to the term, speak softly and carry a big stick. That's probably the best thing about doing this, about playing putt and traveling, because all of us are friends out here and the camaraderie just brings everybody together. St. X Lacrosse knows the tradition of winning. The Tigers have been to the state title game 14 of the last 15 years. All under head coach Scott Howe, who's gone from national champion in his playing days to state titles in coaching. Let's go right away. Right away. Yeah, I'm right here. Catch, turn, shoot. That's just absolutely ridiculous. That's like first grade stuff. You guys on the wing, stop standing out here. Get on the goal. Good. Googly goo. Ah, oh, you didn't even look at the goal. Dragon, dragon, dragon. He's loud. He's intense. Uh, he can be critical at times. But it's all about the players. What's the most important part? What do we got? We got it. What? You want to get a championship? Yeah! Howe will be the first to credit his kids for the wins, but this season has been more challenging than past, having to replace a line of attackers that put up an astounding 155 goals last season. And you could be as, as hot as a firecracker one day, and the next day you're like, guys can't catch a throw. Like, what happened? They have also played one of the hardest schedules in program history, including games against state champs from Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, and Virginia. And having that chemistry off the field, all of us being friends, all of us hanging out, um, allows us to have really good chemistry on the field. Winning never gets old, and that's what this St. X program has built itself on, that pride in winning. They're going for their 11th title in the last 15 years. Do you want to win the championship? Do you want to put number four in a row? Do you want to continue the legacy? What do you, you know, guys, this is, this is what the legacy you leave. As for expectations at state this week? Some teams don't want to be the, the targeted team. Seems like you guys want to be the target of the team. We, yeah, we, we, we expect, we, we do, we expect that. You know, we're on top and we want to stay on top and we want to prove to everyone that we're on top for a reason. Break it out, Tigers on three, ready? One, two, three, Tigers! Tigers! Woo! Woo!